Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking all about my hair care routine and how I maintain healthy, shiny, bouncy, voluminous hair when I do have fine, straight hair to begin with. So I'm so excited to be sharing this topic with you guys because this is something I love to research and watch videos on. I do have a history of dyeing and highlighting my hair. So I've been bleaching my hair since I was in high school and I've also done the platinum blonde look recently, which I'm trying to grow out actually. So I've added in low lights to kind of tone down the blonde. But this is my natural hair color, like what you see from here up. And I'm just trying to grow out my natural hair because I just feel like it's healthiest this way. The bleached hair makes it look a lot more fine and just less voluminous. Well, I'm on a journey to go back to my natural hair and as I'm doing so, I've just researched a lot of hair care tips in order to maintain my hair so that it's looking its best. So I'm going to share a lot of what I do with you guys today. We're going to do a full routine. I'm going to be clarifying my hair and scalp, doing a deep conditioning treatment, and I'm just going to be sharing all kinds of tips and tricks on what I do to keep this healthy hair. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and without further ado, let's just get started. All right, guys, so I wanted to start off by mentioning that a lot of my hair health does come from the foods that I eat. I make sure that I get a lot of omega-3 fatty acids through salmon, avocado. I also do a lot of fruits and vegetables as well as lean meats and protein sources. And of course, I make sure to drink a lot of water throughout the day and take a multivitamin to make sure I'm getting vitamins B6, B12, and folic acid, which are all important for the hair. So next, I'm just going to make a clarifying shampoo that I use sparingly when I have product buildup. So I'm using the Routine Wellness Shampoo. I've been using this for a couple of months now and I really like how it's working out for my hair. It is specifically formulated to reduce breakage and moisturize the hair and it has a lot of plant-based ingredients that are designed to really enrich the hair and maintain scalp health. So I'm just mixing a tablespoon of baking soda in with the shampoo and this is going to just boost the clarifying properties of the shampoo and really make sure that my scalp is deeply cleansed and rids my scalp of all of the products that have been building up. So the downside of doing this clarifying wash is that it does dry out the hair. So I want to make sure that I'm deeply conditioning my hair after I do this clarifying treatment. Another way to clarify the scalp and hair is to do a vinegar rinse. So normally people use apple cider vinegar, but I did not have that on hand. So I just used some white distilled vinegar and I mixed one cup of that with four cups of water. I actually forgot to use this rinse in this video, but normally I would apply the shampoo and then rinse it off with the vinegar rinse. This is my hair before I begin the treatment, so this is my hair on day 8, meaning it has been 8 days since I last washed my hair. So I find that this is also a way to maintain the health of my hair because the natural oils that my scalp produce just keep my hair moisturized and it prevents breakage this way, especially when I brush my hair and distribute all of those oils to the ends of my hair. So I'm just using this tangle teaser brush to brush out my hair and detangle it. I'm starting from the very bottom and I'm just going really gently through my hair, making sure to not rip through it. And this is really important as well because my hair is very fine. It has damage from being dyed previously. So I just need to be very gentle with the hair and just make sure I'm using the proper brush like this tangle teaser to detangle my hair. After my hair is fully brushed through, I'm going to be using this scalp massager. So of course you can just use your fingertips for this, but this little scalp massager just feels really good on my scalp. It promotes hair growth this way because it increases circulation and blood flow to the scalp. And it's just a nice relaxing way to kind of distribute the oils, break up some of the products built up on my scalp. And I actually did this for about 10 minutes. So this was super relaxing. And I really like doing this before I do the clarifying treatment because it helps to just kind of loosen up all of the dirt and grease. This is a great way to promote hair growth, not only before shampooing, but you can also do this on a nightly basis. Just make sure that you're being really gentle and just using the pads of your fingertips to massage your scalp and not your nails. And you can also do this while flipping your hair upside down, just to kind of use gravity to bring blood flow to your scalp. 
Moving on to the hair washing, I'm just using some warm water to fully saturate my hair, and it's important to use the coldest temperature of water that you can tolerate. I tend to just do a warm temperature instead of hot because super hot water tends to damage the cuticle of the hair strands. So next, I'm just going to be applying the baking soda shampoo that I made earlier, and I'm just starting at my scalp and just giving myself a very thorough scalp massage with my fingertips. I'm just using the pads of my fingers, like I mentioned, and just being very gentle, but also making sure I'm really working in the product and making sure my scalp is fully massaged and coated with the shampoo. I'm also going to be bringing it down to the middle region of my hair, but I'm actually not going to be scrubbing the ends of my hair just because this is the most fragile part of my hair and the shampoo will actually run down my hair anyways when it's being rinsed off and clarify the ends. After I massage in the shampoo, I'm actually going to let it sit in my hair for about three to five minutes. And while I'm waiting, I'm just going to be washing my body and face and doing the rest of my shower routine. When it's time to rinse off the shampoo, I just let the water gently run through my hair until it is nice and clean. And then I'm gently going to be removing the excess moisture just by squeezing my hair in different sections and working the water out. Following the clarifying treatment, I'm going to be using this deep conditioning mask by Fashion Gold. You can use any deep conditioner mask of your choice. This is just what I prefer because I've been using it for a couple of weeks and it always leaves my hair super silky, soft, and moisturized. You actually store this product in the freezer because it uses cold shock technology to seal the cuticle and it also just has some really good hydrating ingredients. Just be sure to apply a deep conditioner of your choice after you do a clarifying treatment. I'm applying the majority of this mask to the ends of my hair because this is where the most split ends are and the most damage and I'm also applying a little bit to the rest of my hair including my scalp just to give it a moisturizing effect. I'm then going to put my hair up in a low bun and I'm going to have the mask sit in my hair for at least 30 minutes to have the product really work in. My hair washing day is a big pamper night for me, which I really enjoy just doing my self-care routine. I'm going to be doing a face mask as well while I wait for the hair mask to soak in. I'm just using the Betonite clay mask, which is really nice for acne. I'm also thinking of doing an in-depth skincare routine, so let me know if you guys would like to see something like that. I really just love doing at-home beauty treatments in general. I'm always looking for ways to save money by doing things at home rather than going to a salon or a spa. So once it's time to rinse everything off, I'm just going to let the warm water gently run through my hair to get the conditioner out. And this usually takes a few minutes just because the product has really been soaking into my hair, but it just leaves my hair super silky and soft and the clarifying treatment just really rejuvenates my hair. It promotes shininess and it's just a great way to kind of reset my hair for the next week. Once my hair is completely rinsed out, I'm actually going to just towel dry my hair for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to comb through it. I usually don't brush through my hair at all when it's wet because this is when it's the most vulnerable to breakage, but I did so this night because I'm actually going to be cutting my hair. So I did have a lot of split ends that I wanted to cut off just so I could thicken my hair and make it look nice and healthy again. I had my boyfriend cut the back of my hair just by combing my hair out in a nice straight even line and then he just trimmed off about two and a half inches with some hair cutting type scissors. I'm going to be trimming the pieces that frame my face just with this diagonal cutting motion. This really isn't as hard as you would think it is. All you need to do is just cut a diagonal line and make sure it's even on both sides but this is just what my hair looks like after it's been trimmed. He just cut straight across, which I was perfectly happy with. It was super easy. So next, I'm just going to let my hair air dry until it is about 95% dry, and then I'm going to use a blow dryer just to dry the rest of my hair, and this is for a couple reasons. So number one, I want to limit the use of heat on my hair because that is damaging. I also have fine straight hair, so by using the blow dryer, I'm actually going to give my hair some volume, especially because I'm blow drying my hair with my head upside down like this. This is just going to allow the roots of my hair to kind of stand up a little bit and give it that lift rather than my roots being flat against my head. 
So once my hair is fully dried, I'm going to use my tangle teaser just to neatly comb through my hair and making sure there's no tangles. And then I'm actually going to be putting my hair up in a very neat bun that's just kind of spiraled around itself. And I'm going to be using a clip to secure that in place. And I'm making sure that it is a loose bun that is not tight against my scalp. I'm then going to be blasting the blow dryer one more time just to kind of seal in the bun and introduce some heat. And that is actually going to be an overnight hairstyle that I use to add volume and curl to my hair. So had I not done this, my hair would have just dried completely straight and it would look very flat. But this is a way that I can just kind of have my hair set in a curl overnight and having the bun on the top of my head just provides me with more lift and volume. So this is how my hair looks the next day after I take out the bun. As you can see, it has a little bit of curl to it, which I love. And it just has a very voluminous look, which helps with my fine straight hair. All I need to do is just kind of run my fingers through my hair and define the curls a little bit. But that is pretty much it for how I get ready in the morning. Once I do this hairstyle, it kind of does all of the work for me. And I'm super satisfied with how everything turned out. I know it was a lot of work, but it's definitely worth it as I am growing out my natural hair and trying to maintain its health. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative, relaxing, inspiring. And feel free to start a dialogue in the comment section on what your favorite hair care tips are. I would love to learn from others and kind of share ideas. Let me know what you guys think. And if you guys like this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more beauty related videos. I also do cleaning videos and vlogs. So again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you soon in the next video.